two men's games and two women's contests took place on Martin Luther King Day. Number 17, Texas, used a smothering defense to knock off TCU 66-48 in Fort Worth. Isaiah Taylor had 13 points, 7 rebounds, and 6 assists, while Javon Felix came off the bench to score 15 for the Longhorns. UT held the Horn Frogs to 33% shooting and had a 41-30 rebounding edge. Number 11, Kansas, moved into, into a first place tie with Kansas State thanks to a late surge that topped number 19, Oklahoma, 85-78. The Sooners overcame a 20-point deficit to take a four-point lead with five minutes to play. You can check out Kristen Keith's report from Lawrence on the Big 12 Digital Network. One men's game on tap tonight, and Kansas State will try to stay atop the standings when it visits Ames to take on number nine, Iowa State. In women's hoops, Oklahoma continued its surge with a 73-54 Bedlam victory over Oklahoma State in Norman. The Sooners had four players in double figures led by Joya Carter's 18, while OU's defense held the Cowgirls' top two scorers, Liz Donahoe and Brittany Martin, to a total of six points. Oklahoma is 6-0 and tied for first place with Baylor. Nina Davis led the way with 25 points as the third-ranked Lady Bears topped number eight Texas 75-58 in Waco. You can check out a recap of the game on the Big 12 Digital Network. And congratulations to Texas Tech senior golfer Matias Dominguez. His victory in the Latin America Amateur Championship Sunday earned him an invitation to this year's Masters. Dominguez will be the first active member of the Red Raiders golf team to play at Augusta. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Wendell Barnhouse.